there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Forum. Your host, Mr. Lev Trotsky, your lover. And which, right now, it's September 26th, 1943. We've done quite a few focuses off screen just because I needed extra time to push, 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 and do the German Leia, including the founding of the, or found the PCDI. Our armaments industry has grown very large and now requires a dedicated government office to coordinate if it is to grow even further. We shall establish a People's Commissar of Defense Industry, Military Engineering University. While many are proclaiming the end of the trench warfare following the development of the tank and airplane, it's clear that the military engineering shows a place in the modern battlefield. We should form an institute to study modern methods of constructing modern field fortifications, PC of mechanical engineering. Our industry has become capable of creating increasingly large and complex machine tools and other heavy machines, to the point where it would just be, be justified to form a separate government entity to coordinate these projects, the means of wage war. While the planes, guns, and tanks in the army often attract the highest attention and look best in parades, a common soldier cares a lot more about the quality of his rifle and the comfortability of his boots. We have to acknowledge that these things are at least as important to waging war as any fighter plane or heavy howitzer. PC of mortar armament. The hump of mortar is quickly becoming the main form of indirect fire for our support units. We must therefore endeavor to produce as many mortars of all sizes as possible, and form a government agency whose only purpose is to do just that. Development of Tinkergrab. Our country stretches over vast distances, which makes it impractical to ship subcomposed from factory to factory. We should instead integrate our tank factories vertically. Steel goes on, in on one end, finished tanks come out the other end. Merch tank and material plants. Tanks and artillery is probably the best suited for mass production, making use of economy of scale. We should therefore force a consolidation of tank and material producers to capitalize on this, and Leningrad Polytechnical Institute. As a foremost engineering school, the Leningrad Polytechnical Institute has long provided our country with engineers and industrial designers. We should expand it further to ensure that we will always have the best people available to fill any new positions in our growing industries. The Trotsky line. Improve the Stalin line. Why would we do this one? But if you want to do this one, please go right ahead. But yeah, I don't know why we do that one. I would have liked to ask you guys yesterday. I forgot to ask you guys whether we do keep commissars uh, organization or military political commissars. <clears throat> hmm... I think we'll go with this one, because we need to get a better airline doctor because we get nothing here, too, so... Our war is not merely a contest between nations about resources, it's a contest of political systems. While we shouldn't let political considerations dictate military decisions, we still have to ensure that these political considerations are accounted for when the decision is reached. Cool. And we can rush for Berlin. It is obvious that our current allies in the fight against the Germans will become our greatest rival after the war. We can allow them to beat us to, in the race for Berlin. We get more speed, less organization regain, but more war support, and more attack against these guys, too. And do not blab. Of course, we need to get some of these as well. Encryption. Consumer goods would be very nice, which I did once already. Uh, Army fuel game. Not really concerned about that. Supply consumption goes down, which would not be bad. Even though, honestly, our supplies are not that terrible right now at all. Uh, more oppo would be very nice. Division speed. More attack. Victories at hand. Oh, yes, please. Go And as you can tell, like, uh, let's go to casualties. We lost a lot of guys. We lost actually 1.42 million in total. Um, allies are there, of course. They lost 59,000 from America. Um, yeah, and Italy is, Italy is doing great. They're they're in the Japanese faction now. So Japan and Italy are together. It's very weird, but they actually managed to survive. We've killed off a lot of Germans. Like holy crap! The French communists capitulated to the Iberians, um, and the Austro-Hungarian Empire did join the Axis as well. So here's a fa faction map mode. Um, Iberia is in the <laughs> same faction as Paraguay. All right, whatever. But yeah, America's in the Allies, which is going to be a pain in the butt to take out. Japan's looking very strong, though. Like, if anything, I want Japan to take out America as best as he possibly can. Oh, I did go to war with Bulgaria, too, so. Uh, Mongolia joined the popular front. Block. Okay. Alright, but yeah, this is us. Right now. We are doing relatively A-OK. -okay. And there goes Lithuanian Poland. Ten hmm. No, I want Berlin! I want Berlin! Darn it. Oh, well, whatever. So, yeah, these guys are not bad. Oh, we also want better carriers as well. Um, get some deck armor? No, we already have deck armor, yeah. Get another hangar. And just make some more convoys for now. We're going to need them. We're going to need a lot of them. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And segment, very nice. Very good. Keep killing them. Keep killing them. One of the comments was, check the decisions tab to take out the Baltics. Well, yeah, I could have done that one. Yeah, I, I, I think... Oh, oh, I didn't get Berlin. God dang it. But, yeah. That would probably been smart to do. But they're already in our faction. We'll kick them out later on. So we'll see if we can still do that option in a little bit. So, um, yeah. Not bad. We have more maxed out on Eric's B. So, actually, this war is really good to set us up for like, global domination. Just because we have to have so much industry anyways. Playing the Dutch is gone. 
Uh, keep working on rubber, because we are really out of rubber and aluminum. Oh my goodness, Zukov's been wounded. Unfortunate. Uh, not, none of that stuff really matters. We can organize Hungarian fifth columnists. We'll see what happens. But I did say in the last video, like, oh, we can rush with a bomb. We're going to allow others to have up an atom bomb before us. We must do whatever we can to ensure our technological superiority is not threatened. Yeah. Uh, aluminum would be nice. Yeah. Hmm. Just because I'm going to ask everybody first. And then, once the campaign is pretty much done, then I'll release puppets. Just because I don't want to deal with lag. And we can honestly use those factories. So. Yeah. Hmm. Blitz. You know, you can go blitz. That's fine with us. Zukov can go blitz because he, he, he commands all the tanks, which we will need to improve upon, but that's fine. <clears throat> Man, why do they have to take the Berlin? What's our war score participation? Because we're, we're, we'll give the stuff, some stuff to the Allies, but... 35, 25%? I don't know about that, man. 25%. We'll give some stuff to uh, the Japanese here, too. If anything, I, I do want the Japanese to be able to contest the Americans in the UK still, so... Even if Germany dies... Hey, there goes Austria. The Austro-Hungarian Empire. But yeah. Anything here? Anything special? Anything special? Not really. Development of Tinkograd. Military political advisors. Oh, they all the bypass. The glory of the Red Army. We have successfully held out against the enemy onslaught. Now is the time to go on the offensive and carry the war back to where it came. Well, I mean, we're already doing that, but yeah. Excavation is nice. We're working on this too. Um, give more extraction. We definitely need more extraction. We do need to get. We have. We're extracting 500 soon. Oh, we won! Nice. I love it when we win. So. Oh, God. We have the audio for that. So, let's do this real quick. Um, like I said, I'm just going to add most things. Uh, the UK. We didn't get the... Well, because it's a positive conference, but still. Um, you can just have all of France. Like, just give them all of it. Except for this area here. It's actually... Take all states. Except for... This area. Yeah. In that area, too. They can have that. I'm going to take this, though. Because I actually did push through tr Turkey all by myself. No help from any of the allies. Um, so, yeah. We'll get some stuff to uh, some of these other groups as well. We'll take this, too. And I did capitulate the Greeks. They were a little bit of a pain in the butt, but wasn't too bad. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, I should have given this one to... Uh, whatever. Italians can deal with it. Polish Republic. Um, here, Italy. You want some? You want something? You can have a little. That's a Mexican Republic. Italy did like nothing apparently. There you go. Um, what else? Oh, you guys. I didn't give them any either. Whatever. Here, you can have this one too. Actually, I think it might might be easier if we just took that ourselves. But yeah. Oh. Or I could take El Salvador. That might be best. Maybe. I'll just take it anyways, because we can. No question that. Lithuanian Poland. Thank you. Polish Republic. Oh, uh, thank you. Afghanistan. We'll give that to Japan, because they actually did pretty good. Actually, you know what? I took Afghanistan. Yeah, we're not going to give that to them. Great Lithuania. Uh, Japan's going to get basically nothing out of this, which is going to be weird, but whatever. Estonia, Finland. We're going to take all states. Um, the German Empire. Uh... I don't want to be too unfair, so we'll give it to... You can have the Netherlands. There you go. There you go. I can't take all the states. Well, I mean, they did take forever. Reset. And I don't, I don't really care. It's just... Uh, you know, we'll give maybe America a little bit more. You can have a little bit here, too. There you go, America. You can have more of Germany if you really want it. What score do we have? Not enough, apparently. There you go. Restoration development. Now the war is ended, we can return to developing our industries and peace and improve the lives of our people. Oh, oh, we have to be. Oh. All the following must be true is considered a any enemy country. Oh, we have to be a major. Oh, socks. Barrier troops? It's not bad. Uh, that's the case. Um, National Academy of Sciences finished the fourth year. Well, the fourth year plan, yeah. It'll take some good time before the disruptions of war have been fully made good, but by setting the right goals, we can already gain some productivity gains. Not bad. Cancel non question effect. Pretty typical. Alright, so that's the case. Um, we're going to put a big old front line here against those Americaners. 
Um, and we will release the German states later on. We need more divisions, too. Something like that. Overprocessing, good. Go to the next level, too. I'm not going to try to pause it at all just because I want time to go on so we can actually get some more stuff done. Ooh. Proof of that tanks. Um, proof heavy tanks. Ah, whatever. So there you go. Stay there for now. We have way more aluminum. All right. Not bad overall. Not a bad war. We can all the non aggression packs. Um, we have the allies here. I do not want to fight the Japanese yet, so you guys are where? You guys are up here. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, the allies. They're both in the allies. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you guys did something like that. There you go. Good luck, train. Do we have a supply base up here at all? Yes, we do. I didn't remember to put one up here. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So you guys will be fine. You all, uh, because you're in the Allies, well, that's going to kind of suck. Depending on how well the Japanese faction does, we'll do that. And then we have you guys down here too, which I'm actually going to move you guys too. Uh, you're not going to have enough soldiers on the front line here, but, well, you know, deal with it. And then you guys come down here, too. Cool. So, yeah, we definitely need to get rid of this. We go to limit exports. If I were to the fourth year plan, National Academy of Sciences might not be bad. We can really start researching things much more quickly. We might like to expand the Red Fleet, but whatever. Modeling after our own Academy of Sciences. Our partner nations should be also encouraged to establish similar institutes in order to boost their own research capabilities. So, is there anyone else... Fine. Uh, we can just file on that does not have a faction. Oh, the Axis still exists down here. Oh. Pac Pakistan? Alright. Why not? You know, why not? Uh, I think Tibet is pretty independent, but we can't really do anything against them. Um, yeah, it's either... Uh, I guess Switzerland as well. But yeah, we need more divisions here. Oh, we just closed it out. That's fine. You get more divisions going out that way. Um, these cavalry divisions are good for garrison stuff. No trip That's fine. Mm, the fall of Rome. All right. Well, the allies are really kicking their butt here. A lot of allies. Well, this just gives us time to build more planes, too, hopefully. Um, build more roads. Because that'll give us more uh, stuff to work with. Especially more aluminum. Holy crap, do we need more aluminum? Uh, we took out Hungary, right? So that should give us quite a bit more aluminum there. We need to be able to extract things more, 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 more. And get more rubber. We just took out some Asian states, some African states. That'd be so good, but still. We only have 487 factories. Could be better. Could be a lot better. Especially, I know building up roads is not as effective as it used to be for supply, but they do help you supply just a little bit. And I'll kick out Latvia from the faction eventually. Not yet, but eventually. Maybe after you take out the allies. So there you go. Uh, build a little more rubber. Uh, there you go. 100% not bad. Mm. Yeah. Not bad. Cool. And even more rubber. Anywhere we have 100% infrastructure? Yes, yes, yes. Pretty good. Go to the exports. That helped out a little bit. Not by much, but a little bit. Fourth five-year plan? Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. We still got a lot of stuff to do here. Um, development of the Eastern... Uh, oh, the Eastern Allies, yeah. Any Allied country capital stays in Asia. Two red flags. Middle East diplomacy. Baltic security. Respect... Oh. Respect them. Cleanse the Baltics. Let's claim on all those cores, huh? Well, let's go back over here and do this one. Yay. No time for peace. Transformation of nature? That's not bad either. Uh, nuclear production speed, research speed? That's not bad. Yeah. The ComCon? That's a pretty good thing to do as well. Uh, no time for peace. No matter how much we might wish for, there's little hope for a lasting peace. New weapons and technologies will make war even more devastating than before, and sadly, we must invest in our hard-earned resources to ensure that we keep pace with our enemies. Nice. 1940 subs, not bad. Well, it's 1944. We're going to go immediately for 44. So, as much as I want them, um, just go and go with level, the next level. That's fine. Ooh, oh, another carrier. We have like seven carriers here. Okay, another carrier too. We have way too many carriers here. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20. Do we have any naval bombers? Yeah? 
There you go. 20. There you go. Yeah, now you're looking better. Um, who can we go with? Oh, yeah, Pakistan. Yeah, we should be fine there. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, with America there, Germany looks really bad, but whatever. Oh, Italy's dead. Um, that's not good. Mm. How many guys do we have on the line? Can we bait them into attacking us? Actually, uh, is, anyone, is Tukhachevsky... Oh, we need Trotsky here, too. Becoming a field marshal. Uh, is he any way of becoming an organizer? Is anyone actually an organizer? Are you an organizer? No. I thought one of these guys was an organizer. Or one of you guys. Ah, you are an organizer. That's nice. But we do need skilled staffers as well. 75% of the way there. That's not bad. Uh, I don't want to weaken our line too much. I really don't. You are struggling down here, aren't you? Of course, it is mountains. What do you expect? Alright, throw them all in there. Screw it. No time for peace. So now we can do this. We can merge automobile tool plants. Motorized equipment goes down. Cap goes up. More output. More output would probably be best. Ooh, dispatch it. So we volunteer group. Sure. You do that one. Why not? Aluminum, yes. Goes wide. Special projects. Mental stuff. Advanced lighting chance. That's nice. Uh, we need planes. We need ships. We need. We really do need more ships. So we'll get to planes eventually. Not yet, but eventually. Where are you guys at? You guys are over there. That's fine. Uh, I'll grab you Come over here. Do that. Because you will help guard against Yugoslavia. Karel, hello. Do the best you can. You're not going to do great initially. <laughs> yeah. Strategic bombers. we got plenty of planes. There you go. Uh, do that too. We have rubber processing. Nice. Get even more. Because now we're down to negative 65. A little better than earlier, but not still not great. More entry, good. If you can, go and train. You guys do that. You already train, which is nice. India's gone. Goodbye, India. Can you please go to the capital? That'd be nice. No, thank you. We lost 9,000. Holy crap. We're still fighting mountains. I mean, what do you expect? Why is supply so bad here? Come on. Because they don't have any connection. That's why. Ugh. There you go. That should be better. Can't imagine these guys have another manpower, though. Eh, that's fine. We got them anyway, but yeah. Supply's really bad down here. My bad. Oh, well. Then you guys can go right there, too. Be fine. And then we have the Copper Spirit Sphere, which is here, which, which they are fighting the allies, which is great. So we need this covered, this covered, down here, this covered, this covered, this covered, this covered is what we do already. Sort of-ish. Sort of-ish, like that. I need this covered as well. Uh, we just need more divisions. This kind of sucks. As long as we're not fighting them, that's fine. Well, that's we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice warm. Another comment from the last video was we should have asked Romanian military for military access from Romania when we got encircled here. Yeah, I didn't realize that at the time. That's my fault. I should have done that. So, yeah, you guys were right about that. Um, I did want medium tanks, but we're going to heavies immediately. I'm going to want more extraction. Um, go with... I, I played it not bad. I just need to get some, some of the tank stuff done. Because I definitely want these tanks. Especially for, the, for this long of a campaign. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Belarusian National Academy of Sciences. Belarusian National Academy of Science in the Republic of Belarus, which undoubtedly boosts research. And the Ukraine as well, eventually. Get a whole 1% more. You we know, get 1.3 every single day. So what is this? Five-year plan? All right. Not bad. Actually, not bad at all. Defensive industry. Ooh, coffee's pretty good. And we have 1% more research speed, which will be boost, 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 boosted eventually even more. And get some more cities because we can. We're going to need to build a lot where we're, we are headed. In the meantime, though, where is a really bad place? You guys need uh, more roads? It's fine with us. There you go. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, just because when we were fighting down here, it's going to be just god awful. So, just best be prepared. 
Because we will... Okay, got everybody. Actually, I'll probably take a lot of people off screen. I'll probably place a whole bunch off screen. Um, Alright, eh, that could do a time lapse. But that takes up so much time, and I don't have time for that sometimes. Anyone here need... Oh, yeah. You definitely could use this, too. Airplane catapults. Nice. Uh, get cruisers. Especially contested American Navy. There's any more planes, too. Maybe here. Advanced light tank chassis. Um, actually, I don't, I don't mind working on this one, right? Actually, let's have a look. Because the light tank chassis, is that's, that's the best one you can get. So we might as well work on that one. After no time for peace, though, let's go ahead and choose transporter flights. Yeah, might as well. Our bravest pilots are just beginning to prove that daring routes across the Arctic are possible. By using unexpected shortcuts like these in our planning of aerial warfare, we'll be able to surprise the enemy. Not a bad idea. <clears throat> and we'll go nuclear. I definitely want to nuke America. And maybe, you know, if we can nuke, nuke, if we can nuke London, that'd be great, too. But let's work on our little tank. So, um, I have had a couple people ask me, what do you use for tank designs and stuff like that? Well... No matter what, if it's light, heavy, modern, or super heavy, which I've not used it, or mediums, I always like maxing out reliability, as well as maxing out armor. Armor and reliability are the two most important things. So I want to get as close as possible to 100%, because anything over 100% gives you no effect, which means you can just improve the engine a whole bunch, improve the armor a whole bunch as well. So that's what usually I like to do. My armor protection, ooh, 18 above. I definitely want that one, but we can definitely set up the tank to be really good first. And again, we're going to improve them later on. So we can make them like, you know... Tank destroyers, tank artillery, SP artillery, stuff like that, but or anti-air really. Uh, improved automatic, improved small cannon. Improved automatic, uh, especially for light tanks. I'm not too concerned about piercing too much, especially if we throw an anti-tank. Um, 35. Actually, that's that's 50 piercing though. Hmm. Kind of like the soft attack here though. Heavy machine gun. Heavy machine gun, yeah, I won't do very much. Close support gun. And these guys are focused on speed a whole bunch, so. Um, improve automatic cannon. Because we can. Doesn't really matter too much there. One man turret, two man turret. Gives you more breakthrough. This one slows you down, so. This gives you just a little bit more breakthrough, not much. Gives you four more. Slows you down a little bit too much for me. Um, so do two man turret. And I was like, I love radio. Gives you way, way more defense. An incredible amount more defense. 65%, even though. You get 1.3. You get a lot more breakthrough, which is amazing. Uh, special modules. I always go wet ammo swords for even more reliability. Um, let's see what else. Stabilizers. Breakthrough's not bad. Armor. Any extra armor you can get is good. And armored skirts. Entrenchment. Now, I'm not a pro at this. You might make way too many videos about Hoi 4. Um, but yeah, that's not terrible. Uh, three. Breakthrough. Defense. Um, ooh. That's not bad. And you get quite a bit more defense, too, which I do like. So after all that's done, that's not bad. We can save that. We're not done yet with it, though. The T-60. And then we'll come over here. And, uh, non-track suspension. Um, it lowers your hardness. And lowers your hardness, which I don't like. We have a bogey trans tr uh, suspension. And it's just a reliability. What I recommend is either get more speed, which is okay here. But torsion bar is extremely good because you get 10% more reliability. And the thing is about that is that after you get more reliability, you just spend it all, all in your engine. Also, armor. It's not bad. Are we doing armor stuff here, too? Yeah, modern armor protection. Um, enables armor upgrade. So, this stuff, what we have right now, is good. Riveted armor is okay. Actually, it hurts your armor. Welded armor gives you plus 40% more. Um, but this one gives you 50% more and more production cost. And gives you more defensive breakthrough. So, this one is not bad. It, Usually, I like to have a tank that can be able to pierce itself. So, this is not bad, in my opinion. And also, we can go gasoline, diesel engine. Um, it gives you a lot more reliability, though. Which I'm totally fine with. Takes a lot of army XP. Let time go on for now. Um, and then... We don't need to go above 18, but we're going to get it anyways. So, now, that's why I want to max it out. And I don't mind doing a little bit of armor as well. Actually, this gives you more breakthrough. Gives you more armor. It hurts your max speed. hurts your reliability. But increases production cost, which is fine, whatever. So now, even if I wanted to pierce it, we can't pierce our own tank. Oh, and that's 102%. If we go up to 98%, it's not bad. It just hurt our speed just a little bit, but that's not a bad light tank. At least in my opinion. It's still pretty speedy. It's okay in a soft attack. Armor's okay. It's going to get pierced from anyone who actually uses anti-tank guns, whatever. But that type of tank, at least in my opinion, not bad. It can do the job it needs to get done. At least in my opinion. I could be wrong, but... Mm, I don't think so. We'll see. Oh, you will live a happy life? You will live a happy life, no matter what. You get more stability. Oh, that'd be nice. Long live to peace. Here's your weekly war support. Hmm. Justify Wurgle sounds on us, though. 
Factory output goes down. We will rebuild a glory. That's not bad. Not great, though. Do not blab. Um, get more speed. Get more research speed. Because that's actually very strong if you get them all done. Better transporter flights. Foster flying clubs. New pilots are expensive to train if they have never seen a plane before they start training. But many young people are fascinated by flying with some support. Good grown to very capable pilots that can pick up the finer points of air combat very quickly. If they already know the basics of piloting an aircraft. Nice. Very good. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Ah, good. And I'm actually going to probably convert a lot of these tanks that we have currently to a better division template. Ah, modern armor protection will. It's fine, whatever. Speed. Ah, there we go. Better subs. Nice. Um, you know what? I'm going to forget to research this. Just do this now. It's fine. We do have a little bit of naval XP, which is good, good, good. Not a, as much as I'd like. I should take out enemies, but whatever. There you go. Not bad. It's not quite perfect yet. I don't want to make it yet. We just need a little bit more naval XP. <coughs> Excuse me. Train, we need more naval XP. we got to get at least five more. So we get rid of that level two engine and replace it with something else. And right now we're building an adequate amount. Really not bad. Just really preparing ourselves for the future. I'll uh, get one of those there. Get one of these here too. You need those for the war. That'll be coming up very, very soon. Um, in the future, let's go and get rid of some of this close air support because I don't want to use any of it. If we're going to use any close air support, we're going to make it ourselves. I wish there was a button saying, like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to take. Uh-oh. Whatever. Naval bombers, I probably shouldn't have deleted that, but I don't care. Uh, there should be an option saying, I don't want to take any enemy equipment. Or just auto-convert it to, like, more steel. Or more tungsten. Or more aluminum, actually. I think that'd be pretty decent. I wish that was in the game. But maybe, maybe there'll be an uh, Air Force update someday. And hopefully with an expanded Italy tree. Or a revised Italy tree. Um, not bad. There you go, 600 right there. Duplicate it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Not bad. And 400 more. Oh, we have plenty of scalp lines. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. That sucks. Oops. All right, not bad. Uh, get more rubber. Like, we're just, we're going to max out that rubber as fast as possible. Um, anything here? Oh, that's fine. Ah, yes. Submarinos. A better engine? Yes, please. Now, that's not too bad. These subs are going to be very good. There you go. Go down to one. Start making them now. And I want you to deploy... Uh, Palanga is fine for us for right now. That's fine. Actually, I wonder. That's when I go back. Oh, everyone has done that already. You guys come up here. How about, can you guys see these guys out? Maybe. Maybe. Do not blab. Yeah. Yeah. Keep building. Keep building. Build. 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 Um, women in aviation wouldn't be bad either. There's lots of what we could still do here, which I do want to do. But uh, how about system centralization? We got to keep our PB for now. So a console, uh, maybe anti-capitalist policies. It's evident that most, if not all, capitalist countries are perfectly content with merely pointing the fascists in another direction when they plan their expansion. When given the choice, the bourgeois will always ultimately choose to oppress the proletariat. As such, we cannot trust them, and we need to be prepared to take the fight to them. Baltic security. The fate of our countries around the Baltic Sea is closely linked with ours. We can allow a hostile government at our borders. Middle East diplomacy. There are many opportunities to enhance our standing on the Arabian Peninsula and in Asia. The great game with the British is about to take another turn. The console. We're not building socialism for adults of today. We're building for the children and generations not yet born. They must be taught how to improve and build on the achievements we will make so that they can complete the work that we have started. We should form a special youth organization that not only educates them but also teaches them how to be good communist members of society and new Soviet women. The political revolution brought freedom to millions of our people in the Union. First among them, the millions of women who are no longer confined to just being wives and mothers, but who can also stand as full equal, fully equal in the workplace as well. All right, everyone. Now, it is January 28th, 1946. I spent a lot of time preparing for the war against the Allies. We're probably still not ready, but we're doing women in aviation. In the past, backward elements of society have declared flying to be a man's field. However, women around the world have ignored this and have shown that they are every bit as good as their male colleagues. We should encourage our women to try their hand at flying to select the most capable pilots among them. I've gone and done a global class struggle. The fight to liberate the working class must be, definition by definition, a global struggle. So as long as there's even one country supporting the capitalist system, the revolution isn't safe. Once the workers around the world realize that the revolution is once again on the march, they will flock to our banner and support us in our endeavors. The onslaught on colonialism. Imperialism and colonial exploitation are vital parts of late-stage capitalism. Holding millions of people in servitude does, however, provide us with a gigantic revolutionary potential that we can easily exploit. The oppressed masses in the colonial empires yearn to breathe, breathe free, and will break their chains carry the revolution east. 
The brutal exploitation of the African colonies has left those societies unable to develop to the level where the revolution can easily succeed. This is not the case with the more developed societies in Asia, where large revolutionary potential exists and waits to be unleashed, and the end of imperialist era. Perhaps the most naked expression of imperialism lies in the so-called Mono Doctrine, which with only one single country declares two entire continents their exclusive territory. This will of course not stand. The revolution will find a foothold in the Americas, and the workers of the Western Hemisphere will at long last breathe free, in which we still need some more political power, so we're going to wait to do system decentralization, which would be very nice, but let's go ahead and do what? Let's go to the aviation group? Uh, let's expand the aircraft industry. In the words of come, our Air Force will have to secure this guys against enemies equipped with the most modern equipment. We must ensure that they not only have comparable planes, but also that they have enough of them. Cool. But right now, um, I've already gone ahead and did one of these as well. We need more tungsten too, because we are really lacking. Um, if we can merge some more plants, it would be not be nice to do as well. More speed? Sure, why not? Uh, of course, the stuff up here. And did masters in Latvia, actually. You can recruit agents, I don't care. Um, yeah. The workers of the legionary Romania have already begun to show their discontent towards the Guardia de Fier and the bourgeois policies. It's time to promote the communist ideology among the Romanian working classes, which we did do in Latvia. And they did kick them out of the faction and they joined the Allies. So, yeah. We'll see. But at this time, um, let's go in. See what happens. Uh, no, a world war. It's alright. Uh, we don't have enough divisions. I did combine a lot of these uh, t tanks together. It was kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, we do have modern tanks. So, not bad. Pity more soft attack, but whatever. Uh, you guys are up here too. Can we go to war in Nor Norway? I'd love to go to war in Nor Norway. And so, yeah. We're going to be at war with a lot of people here. Oh, are we trying to move in? Um, that might be a little suicidal right now. But that's okay with us. Can we go to war with Bucharest? Because we'd love to go to war with Bucharest as well. They're a bunch of fascists. There's a lot of commie support right there. Oh, deal with the devil, huh? We're at war with the UK. Are we at war with America yet? Yeah, we are. Okay. Which means you guys can do this too. Excuse me. Thank you. We're not at war with the Swiss yet, but you guys can probably just honestly just move in. You might be able to do okay here. Maybe, maybe not. Air Force wise, I'm looking not too bad. Oh, they call it in Bangladesh. Oh, watch out. Bangladesh is not fighting us. If anything, do that too. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I actually broke through the Maginot. Wow. Uh, we do have a lot of our uh, ships around here, too, so we'll see what happens. I did try to throw some more planes in here as well, but we'll see. Romania, of course. Uh, Latvia is oh, doing a little better than I thought. We don't have a lot of tanks here, as you can see, but that's alright. Happens. Um, oh, lost two subs. That sucks. But we're making lots of subs. We got the best subs possible. Uh, losses? 52,000. Uh, 150,000, that's not bad. Got a lot of Swedes already. Is Denmark in the war yet? Or not Denmark. Well, actually Denmark. Oh, crap, I forgot about Denmark. Oh, that sucks. That's not good. Oslo. Hmm. Can we actually break through here, please? Come on. We should be able to break through here. We ha should have air superiority in a lot of these areas. But, not, not enough. Huh. We do need more tungsten too. If one of you guys could hurry up and win here, that'd be great. Gonna do that as well. R finish off the Romanians. We actually took Bucharest already. Nice. Um, what are you guys up to? Wait, why'd you ship yourself from you're the field marshal? Why'd you get rid of Trotsky? Um, anything there we really care about? Um, I thought there was someone else here. Yeah, we can finish off Yugoslavia, or at least Romania. That'd be really good because we gotta finish off Latvia. We gotta finish off a lot of other countries first, too. And then these guys, we're slowly. I say we're slowly winning here. It's, it's, it's very slow, but still. Oh, more divisions. Good. I uh, probably should have put some of these guys on the line first, but whatever. You guys will be fine. Um, I said no. Mm, eh, yeah, help them out for up here, too. That's, that's fine first. Here goes Denmark, but whatever. We're taking a lot of losses so far. I mean, we're fighting the entire allies, so... We've killed off 300,000, so overall, that's not bad. Hey, Luxembourg is gone, even though... It's on Luxembourg. Hey, we've got another tile here, too. We're taking more tiles in the Molotov Ribbon drop back. Oh, no. Imagine a lime. Then, Belgium. Very weird, but okay. Good. Come on, hurry up. Destroy Romania. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We need Kluge. Good. And that should capitulate him. Should be nice. Yep, I was right. Good job, guys. All right, so you guys, I need you guys to immediately move up to Denmark, because they are just flooding through here like crazy. And you guys, who are over here as well, do that. Change belts, be good. 
Yeah, we're slowly getting through here. Slowly, 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 slowly. Ooh, that's not good. But we should be getting a lot of experience for Andre here. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of luck. Experience. Oh, Mongolia's gone. Okay. Let's go to the aircraft industry because he can. Oh, Mount. Give him some time. Um, you guys should be fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And help us defeat the Romanians or Yugoslavians as well. That'll be important. And which we are. I mean, they're flooding through here too, but whatever. Any railway guns? No. Ciphers. Oh, I forgot about some of this stuff too. Invade London eventually, of course. Two. Three. Four. Oh, they're flooding through here too. That sucks. But we can go through here. Kill them all off. Go through Italy as well. That's not a bad idea. And they're going through Greece quite quickly. There goes Belgium. Good. No more Belgian boys. Sorry, Taki Senpai. It's not destined for you to live in this campaign. Well, maybe it is, but still. Oh, you guys still train? Yeah, probably don't train. No. I clicked on this one. Game. Come on. There you go. That's a little better. Better, 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 better. Better, better, better. Go in. And we're still struggling here in Lafayette, but it's fine. It happens. Hey, look at that. Sink him if you can. Sink him and stink him. And Romania's been called in. Or not Romania, no way. My words are getting all jumbled up. There we go. Now I get some planning done. That'd be nice. Cool. So after expand the aircraft industry, which is taking forever to do, uh, we'll do expand the aviation institutes. The biggest bottleneck to increase in the size of Air Force is their capacity for pilot training. By expanding our pilot schools, they will lay the foundation of a bigger, more competent Air Force. We've lost 400,000 people already. Holy crap. We cut off 800,000, which is pretty nice, actually. And got some heavy ship holes. Very good. Time to make those, too. Nice. Good stuff. Better logistics, though. Alright, 1940s. Uh, make these big, bigger, better ships. Nice. Nice. Fire control zero is fine. Level four is good. Dual purpose is awesome. Level three, battleship armor. Uh, go another heavy battery because he can. Now let's grab some anti, some stuff like that, some stuff like that. Secondary turrets. Go with the dual secondary turrets, which would be very nice as well. And there you go, a really good heavy ship hull, which we might not ever see because they take so flipping long to make. From up top. We need a lot of resources, man. Oh, god dang, they invaded here too. That's not good. You guys, can I actually do anything here? Probably, honestly, not. I'm not gonna really risk it with those guys, so it's fine. What happened here? Convoy's good. Yeah, we're flooding through here. They're flooding through. No, not really flooding. They're moving through here, though. Losses. Half a million, pretty much. Yeah, I want this guy to level up a lot. You're not learning that much, though. It's kind of disappointing. Nice. And we're pushing through here, too, which is good. Good, 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 good. Good. Any extra planes, maybe? Plenty of carrier fighters, as you can tell. We have zero fighter twos here, which is weird, but okay. Albania's gone. Uh, we're not really that many tactical bom uh, naval bombers, so. It's fine. These guys can help out here, too. There you go, something like that. Life is gone, finally, thank goodness, thank goodness. Alright, we're still done with our land auction, which kind of does kind of suck, but whatever. Good job, guys. Um, upgrade? No. Realistically, we need you to help, like, get rid of some of these guys, too, so. That'd be good right there. We do need to get to the Met. I, Italy did close that part off. We need to get over here, too, so we'll see what happens, but. Mm. Have cruiser, oh, they actually lost some stuff. Are you not fighting the Spanish? You need to be fighting the Spanish, son. Or we won't be able to close off the med, which is really bad of a camp. Get us some nuclear reactors. Fuel-wise, we're actually not doing great. Let's get some more fuel as well. We are on 53. Wild disappears. Muddling calls. Long live to peace. Oh, there goes Yugoslavia, which is good, 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 good. Accomplish a high yield. Yeah, let's go and do that one, too. With all those refineries, you think we made... I think we'd have more than enough fuel, but whatever. 
<clears throat> you guys are doing great, actually. Phenomenal. And there goes Denmark, too. Great. Oh, you guys are down here. Um, keep going. So if you guys here, you guys can help stop the flood into here as well. I don't mind taking these guys out if we have to, just because they're not really allied with that many people. And who they're allied with is not very strong anyways, so. Isaac Asim takes control of foreign affairs. Yeah, I almost start preparing for a war against them. Because we just need to close off the med. Excuse oh my god, Spain, why are you there? Why are you causing us this massive blockage? Yeah, we gotta kill them off. It's unfortunate. But, oh well. Come here. Uh, get better engineers, too. So, yeah. uh, what else do we have here? Outdated stuff. Keep it love. Yes. Better attack bombers. We have quite a few of them, actually. We're still doing, yeah. It's pretty darn laggy now. Pretty bad. Keep going, keep going. You're doing great. And, oh, actually, we need to expand you, too. Because God knows we're going to get naval invaded very heavily from the god dang UK. It's fine, it's fine. Seven, six, not that. What are you guys doing? Nothing? Hanging out? I like it when they hang out, but still. We gotta do more than that. Uh, Ace butt promoted. Actually, you might just get taken out by these guys anyways. That wouldn't be bad. Keep an army over there, too. Not a bad idea. Right, you guys are fine. Still, hey, level 5. Nice, nice, nice. Mm, let's see. Seven hundred thousand lost. Got over two million of them though. This is ridiculous. Like, why? 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 Honestly, just kill them off too. Just just find them. Kill these guys off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Go in. Force it. Because this is ridiculous up here. This should not be happening. Canada's a major power. God dang it, that sucks. So you guys. Losing quite a few guys. It is what it is. You should be able to kill these guys off easily. So of course, supply's pretty bad here, too. Oh, we did get the supply point, but just not connected yet. It's fine. Give it a few days, and we'll have more than enough supply through here. This sucks right here. So much. Subs were lost. Yeah, we we have, to, we have the med has to be closed. It just has to be closed. Where you guys at? You guys are fine. Get in there. You guys right there. This is so stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Go and kill them all off. You guys are fine over there. You have anything here? No, no, nothing I really care about. Where are you guys at? We have more than enough supplies. These guys will die down here. Alright, not bad, not bad. Could be better. Of course, could be better. Did you win yet? Good, you did you win. Kill all these pieces of garbage off. Once we, once we take Italy, that'd be a lot better, but still. Yep, we took Bordeaux. They're out of. They're out, well. They're almost out of supply. They still have Bayonne. God, takes so long for that focus. Oh well. Oh, we're actually pushing through there. Nice, push through here then. Can we? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. I'd rather meet the Japanese in America than uh, kill the Japanese right now. So, uh, yeah, this one's good to do. That one definitely helps out. Kill them all off. They wanted it like this. They chose this path. Uh, how long did we wait? 
Bel Air is GBT, it's not bad. But we are running out of fuel, which is very concerning. I guess very, very concerning. Alright, so you guys basically won. I need you guys to come back up here and deal with this because the game's frontline system is so god awful. No, go in here and kill them off. And then I need you guys to come over here, actually. And just in case, we can reach us, find these guys, just in case, again. It's fine. How do we not have enough fuel? Yeah, we'll go to close economy. We don't have enough fuel, which is stupid. And now we're out of fuel. Of course, these guys are using a lot of fuel too. So, if you want, after you guys, you guys stop. Let the infantry take care of it. That'll be less fuel usage. Uh, the air. Oh my God, fifty-one thousand. No wonder we're out. The air. And even then, do we have enough? We do have a good amount of air superiority there. Not a lot, but where it counts, it counts somewhat. They guys, these guys are all cut off except for the Swiss. This is very nice. It's very, very nice. Can we please do something here? You guys are fine because I made sure you have plenty of supply bases here. You guys are fine-ish. Wait, how did they come back? They have military... Oh my god, they have military access to Spain. This is why we got to kill them off. This is unacceptable. Do it again, just in case. Hmm. Actually, do we max it out? Yeah, we did max it out. We've been building a lot of roads. We've been building a lot of roads. So after this, we're going to just get more fuel gain. So after this one, we'll come over. We're going to do just uh, oil processing. That'll be good. Uh, that'll be a good thing. Sweden's gone. That's good. Hope we got a little bit of fuel. <laughs> uh, you guys go into it. You might as well. Even though you've got like, no fuel, that's why we only have half you guys as horses and half you guys as motorized. Uh, actually... Uh, which one of these? More oil? Oh yeah, that'd be good actually. Let's do this one, because we're actually literally out of oil. So here's the first one. We got some stuff here, and then uh, this one too. Not bad. Armor department, not bad. Can you please stop trying to invade us? For the love of God, please stop it. How can you not win here? I guess that we don't, you know, we don't have air superiority, but at the same time, they're cut off from supplies. The British soldiers, American soldiers, not the Swiss, of course. Still. We are slowly running out of map part too though. Mm. This is not good. Fuel. Yes, please. Like a single battleship too. Yeah, you guys might not be able to hold that line too. But then again, doing this is so costly. 1.27 million. Over 4 million have died. That's not enough. <laughs> Pino units would be nice, but we can't, like, make them and destroy them. That sucks. Oh my gosh, how are they back down here? Are you kidding me, bro? Please, just capitulate them. My god. Japan, what? why do you suck so much? Why can you not, like, take out Hawaii? Like, you've done all this. But you cannot take out... We took out New Zealand too. Just not taking out Hawaii and stuff like that. We need you to take out Hawaii if you want to win the war. 17. Well, maybe they don't want to win the war. Maybe that's it. It's just a giant mess, that's all. Just one giant meso. Oh, but we do have some more land auction. Hey, now we're finally done. Not bad. Better. Are we ready to do this? Probably not. Let's save just in case because we literally have no fuel, but uh, we can't have Gibraltar opened. We gotta turn this into a red lake. They want to attack us, that's fine, don't really care. Um, hopefully we hold a whole bunch. We'll take out Denmark again, it's fine, whatever. This has been a pain in the butt though. Oh, oh okay, Switzerland, I was like, I was gonna force the attack, but okay, if they die, I'm okay with that. Take that towel and they'll have no supply left. Uh, maybe this one too, maybe? But at least looking slightly better. And then we can come down here and help these guys out as well. They're doing force attack. Can you actually 
attack them in reserve. You know, you force attack. Screw it. They want to do force attack? We'll do force attack. Oh, they're doing force defense. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah. The, oh, and they're dead. They're literally dead. Nice. Come on, guys. Go in, go in, go in. Wow, we've lost a lot of ships, haven't we? First operative capture, that's good. If you want, um... Let's see I'm an expert. Make it hard for them to see you. We've lost probably a lot of guys doing this too, but whatever. Yeah, we lost a whole division. Hold. Sorry, right. we're making more anyways, probably. Uh, Manpower-wise, we gotta go to service power requirement. Now, I did grab this one over here, in which we do get plus 500 weekly map art. Obviously, it's not very much, but I'd rather have it than not, so. Destruction, jet bomber stuff, independent air force, research speed. We're kind of done with the research speed. Air accidents chance. Um, air crew surveys. After all, they are the ones using the equipment, so why not ask them? Accidents chance is not bad. Research speed. Eh, as well that one, why not? And what's over here? Battlefield air interdiction, not bad. Air veteran instructors, untrained pilot penalty. Fighter detection, air efficiency, which I do like that one a lot. Home defense, air power projection, mass strikes. Oh, let's do that one. Let's see what that one's like. And we have this one too. I forgot about this one. Mm. We do need uh, commander's advisor costs, men of leadership. We will. Do we really need more generals though? We might need a few, but not really that many. Because they're very costly right now, but. I, let's go with theater train, because we, we, we do have a lot of uh, theaters we need training. And we'll get even more as time goes on, too, so. Oh, that's a lot of losses. Right, so you guys did pretty darn well here, didn't you? There you go. They can't move, they can't do anything. Ah, look at all these divisions. Kill them all off. Oh, you guys are done? Nice. Uh, come to the line. Uh, supply's not going to be very good, but I don't care. It is looking pretty good, too. Except for that boot, but whatever. I'll take you and go down all the way down here. It's fine. I gotta fix that as well. It's fine, whatever. Um, they want to come back? Well, they can come back and die. For our amusement. Oh, did they actually capitulate? Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good Bergen. That'd be nice. Uh, we definitely need more of these guys, too. I'm not sure why we're not making these guys at all. But whatever. Close off the straits. That'd be great. Just in case you do all this, it's fine. And don't forget this one, too. Alrighty. And eventually we're going to need to have Fortress Europa. And then we'll push out into Africa, which I'll be doing I'll probably a lot of this off-screen anyways. So we'll need a lot of focuses. And uh, we'll do okay. Definitely do okay. Sicily, oh yeah, I do all, oh god, this stuff too. Italy, just Italy can get nearly invaded so much. North Africa, I'm not too worried about. I'm not worried about this one, too. Go there, go there. Why are we not making any divisions? Voroshilovgrad. Voroshilovgrad. So after the expanding the aviation one, uh, I'm going to spend a lot of time probably doing... Oh, the focus is here. Increased aircraft production versus intensified pilot training program. This is just better overall. Like I don't ever choose this one. I like this one much more. It definitely helps us out. To be competitive, our Air Force must be able to fly and fight in all circumstances. The best way to achieve this is to train our pilots to the very highest standard. While we might lack in numbers or technical sophistication, we'll make up with sheer skill. Raskova's Aviation Group. Marina Raskova has proven herself an extremely capable navigator and pilot. With the resources stretched thin in the current war, we can't afford to let someone as experienced as her sit by the sidelines. We should give her the resources to raise a number of aviation units to support her struggle. Uh, which is good. Modernized aircraft facilities. The best plane in the world will soon become useless if it has to take off from bumpy ro railways and runways and be maintained in leaky sheds. To ensure the best possible performance, we must also have the best possible infrastructure. Merge aircraft plans. While competition between designers creates a natural incentive to constantly improve, it also saps resources on odd duplicate efforts that we can ill afford. We should merge our design bureaus to eliminate this waste. And then ground support, um, ground support, more than ground support, long range aircraft. That's not bad. Strategic bombing is not bad, but we're really going to be using probably ground support, maybe. Uh, the primary mission of our Air Force must be the support of our ground forces. This fundamental fact must inform every decision made in modern war and the skies. Aerial warfare has become a long way since the days of biplanes dueling over the trenches. Today, it is industrial in nature. With a high operational tempo to maintain pressure on the enemy should around the clock, we must acknowledge this fact uh, and plan accordingly. 
Did you guys actually, you went all the way down here. Holy crap, they actually did, they did great. They did really, really great. Um, you guys come up here, though. You guys are doing okay as well. I guess push out. I'm just, actually, supply's not too bad around here. Are we losing here? Yeah, we slowly are. How do we not have air superiority down here? There you go. So hopefully we'll be able to push in a little bit. They're doing force defense. My gosh. Go into. Give them that extra little push if you can. You guys did quite. Oh my god. I hate the UK so much. I hate capitalists. Oh my goodness. We're not going to stop the attack. So if they want to die, they they are more than welcome to die. More than welcome. Oh, I got a couple more focuses though. We should be okay if we don't even look at the screen. You guys are doing great down here too, though. So, and you guys doing a okay? Proof death charge mortars, nice. Retreat chance, that'll probably be good too. Anywhere else we got invaded? Anywhere else? No. Come down here too. Actually, do this as well, because you can. Because that'll be good. All right. So after this, uh, we did that one. Um, expand the Red Fleet, maybe. The Red Fleet is pathetically weak compared to the navies of the Imperial powers. We must make it the expansion a national priority. Transformation of nature. With a scientific community pushing the borders of what was previously thought possible, even the largest, most invasive projects are becoming feasible. Um, yeah, we're going to do the Trotsky line. I'm going to ask you guys as well. We're going to do organization of the Parsons as well, which would be very good. But blah 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 blah. And no, I'll save this for later. But should we do positive heroism and go down this route? God dang it, stop it with all the plain stuff. And war heroes. Or should we go collectivist propaganda and go down to socialist emulation and socialist realism? Uh, we'll probably do respect... Eh, actually, at this point, we could. We might just do claims on the Baltics, honestly. But we'll probably just do this one just so we can get this one done. So respect this one. Um, demanding to Poland. Well, this stuff is kind of already over. Uh, support Afghan communism. Well, we got into that one too. So, oh, something happened there. I didn't pay attention. Oh, well. So let me know which one we should do. Positive heroism, collectivist propaganda, a couple more folks because I'm going to take a while off screen. Probably organization of the Parsons. After being overrun, many soldiers left behind enemy lines chose to continue the fight instead of humiliating captivity. Together with the peasants and the workers of the occupied territories, they continued the fight against the invader. We must send them support so they can tie down even more enemy units. Ah, uh, the Trotsky line. The recent changes to the political geography of Europe have moved our western border up quite a further west. Any old fortification plans are outdated. We must create a new line along our new borders to slow down enemy attacks until we can mobilize our, our forces for a counterattack. But I think that's going to be it for here for now, in which, uh, as you can tell, we got a couple issues to deal with here. Not great, but, you know, whatever. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll continue to push in the UK, and hopefully destroy the Allies with the help, well, the mutual help, of the Japanese, in which they have 6,000 different puppets. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.